lighthouses. They are the forgotten castles of the waterways. Over the next few weeks, we'll take you on a journey of the many beacons of light along New York Seaway Trail. First up, the Barcelona Lighthouse, also known as the Portland Harbor Light. It overlooks Lake Erie in the town of Westfield, New York. In 1828, Congress appropriated $5,000 for building a lighthouse on the bluff overlooking Portland Harbor, now Barcelona. The year before, Congress had declared Portland Harbor an official port of entry and established a post office. The name of the town and harbor was officially changed to Barcelona on September 9, 1836. The lighthouse was erected with the expectation that Barcelona would become an important commercial city. Those expectations were never realized. Well, Barcelona became um, a major entity um, in the 1830s and 40s after the um, Erie Canal opened up. Um, people were coming and, and oh, there was a major boom um, with real estate prices and they established, that's when it was established to be called Barcelona. But it was a booming town and the real estate soared. They laid out the village of Bar Barcelona with streets and everybody thought they were going to get money, big money and everything was fine in the 1830s and 1840s. And then a couple of disasters hit for Barcelona. Number one, in 1844, there was a major storm. Um, and the federal government had put in a 1,200-foot uh, barrier uh, breakwater over to the west to protect the wharfs and everything going on down here in Barcelona. Well, the storm took out the breakwater completely and destroyed all the, the wharfs and the warehouses and everything. Everything was just wiped out. Um, they had to rebuild. And, but, so that happened in 44. At the same time, the very same period of time, Erie, which has a better harbor, Erie, Pennsylvania, they opened up a canal that connected to the Ohio River system. So it was a better place to go. And also at the same time in the 18, by 1852, trains came through. So you take all those together and it wiped out the whole concept of Barcelona becoming a major, um, major port. By 1859, the Lighthouse Board had decided that the Barcelona Lighthouse was no longer needed and the light was decommissioned, a mere 30 years after it was built. The harbor, however, did see a lot of activity before the advent of the railway. Its spacious docks were often filled with goods, ready for transport on wagon trains headed over the hills to the waterways of the south and west. Barcelona's commercial fishing trade was started in 1852 and grew rapidly because of the railroad. A report in the local paper in 1863 states that there were 162 sailing vessels counted off Barcelona Harbor that morning. Upon the lighthouse's completion in 1829, Joshua Lane, a local clergyman who was deaf, was selected as its first keeper. He was light keeper at Barcelona for nearly 20 years and was followed by three other keepers. At first, whale oil kept the light burning, but with the discovery of a nearby creek containing natural gas, in 1831, the Barcelona Lighthouse became the first lighthouse in the world to be illuminated with natural gas two miles of hollowed wooden pipes carried the gas to the lighthouse. The wooden pipes would occasionally fill with water, making it necessary to use oil for a short time. Barcelona, like other ports on the Great Lakes, was subject to immense storms. There actually are a lot of shipwrecks all over this end of Lake Erie. Uh, it has to do with the prevailing winds and the lake getting massive change in depth from the west to the east end. Ships coming from Buffalo West had a very difficult time getting around Long Point. Um, in 1883, there's a really, a really neat wreck actually, the New Connecticut. And when it went down, it capsized. The crew made it safely to shore, but the captain's aunt, Mrs. Appleby, was declared lost. The ship didn't actually sink. It stayed capsized and they were able to tow it in. They brought it into Portland Harbor here. And when they righted it, out stumbled Mrs. Appleby from her cabin. Five days later, she had a small air pocket and survived. <laughs> so it was a very happy ending to that shipwreck. 
The lighthouse on the site now is still the original, built in 1829, and as such is one of the oldest lighthouses on the chain of Great Lakes. The original lantern room is long gone, however. It was probably a birdcage lantern room. In 1872, the lighthouse and keeper's residence were sold and remained in private hands for almost 150 years. Over the years, rooms have been added to the original four-room keeper's cottage. In 2008, the state of New York purchased the property. When Parks first took it over, it was just to preserve it. There was no plan, there was no, here's what we're going to do with it. So it, it sat dormant for a few years while a plan was worked on. Uh, in 2015, we were approached by the Westfield Visitor Center, the town of Westfield, looking for a new home. Could we move it to the Lighthouse Cottage? So we did enter into a partnership with them. They currently maintain a visitor center in what was the dining room here. The lighthouse is now a state park and restoration efforts continue. The light in the tower is decorative and an agreement exists with the town of Westfield and the gas company to keep it perpetually lit. It's been the symbol of Chautauqua County and Westfield and Barcelona for as long as anybody remembers. I mean, it is so important. It is literally the logo on the town of Westfield's uh, logo for advertising. It has been the symbol of Westfield, Barcelona for 100 years.